my name is Rachel Howarth. This is a video to demonstrate making a peg for my Forest School Level 3 course. So what I'm going to do is use my loppers to cut a piece of wood to length and then I'm going to use my knife to shape the wood. So my loppers are in here in my toolbox. I'm going to need my bow saw. And I'm going to use my loppers to cut my wood here. So, to begin with, I am just going to carefully select the length of wood, cut off those side branches I don't need. And that one there, I think. There we go. And then cut my wood to length. So I think I'm going to go for this quite a straight piece here to use for my peg. There we go, and cut that final bit off the top. Okay, so here is the wood that I'll be using for my peg on this way. And now I need my knife to help me shape and whittle my peg. So I'm going to use my glove and my log. Glove and my helper hand. And to begin with, I'm going to make a notch at the top of the wood. So I'm going to carefully slice through and then create some small splices on the wood to create a notch and that will be useful for attaching the string when I create a den with my peg. Creating pegs is really useful in forest schools for children to start with because the actual product that they're making, the peg itself, is very useful in creating dens. And it's a lot, it's a lot, um, a, what we do a lot in forest schools is make dens. The children love to spend their time building hideouts. So the skill of knowing how to create your own peg is very useful. So I've got my notch there. And now what I need to do is um, begin to whittle the bottom to make a sharp point. So I'm just using my elbow action to get some of the bark off around the outside first. You can see that the wood I've chosen is a little bit wobbly, piece of willow, but when you're out in the forest, there's a lot more to choose from. So encouraging the children to choose a straighter piece of wood might be worthwhile for the peg. So now I've removed the bark, I'm just gonna begin shaping the end into a point with some careful whittling actions. When teaching the skill to children, it's important to encourage them to check their work as they, as they continue through the project and to kind of reevaluate what they're doing and to think carefully about what the next steps might be. So if my peg is not yet pointy enough to go into the ground, discuss that with the children and ensure they kind of understand the overall project and know what their product will be used for and the important points of it for their design. So still going at the bottom there, it's becoming pointier. And this soft green wood is really nice and easy to use with the knife, particularly for young children. So a few more slices at the bottom there, I think. And we've got quite a nice point now, which will help the peg drive into the ground. And we've got our notch at the top, 
What you might like to do is also shape the top. So um, here I would use my loppers again to just cut. Um, if I had a partner available, they would hold the peg for me and I would make a cut to make a, a, um, a flat top. As I don't, I will just whittle some of this bark off here using my knife to shape the top so that it is easier for a mallet to hit my peg without it splitting. And to just shape those top, top parts there. is my peg. I'm going to put my knife away in the toolbox. I'm going to use my glove and I'll come and show you my peg. Here we go. So we've got the notch, flat top for using with a mallet and a pointed end. Thank you very much.